Hey guys, so another video. <laughs> uh, imagine that. Um, I made this uh, traveler's journal. Well, it's not really a journal. It's sort of a journal. Um, I would call it maybe an art kit. I don't know. Um, using the Eileen Hall traveler's notebook die. Um, so it's a standard size die um, for creating the traveler's notebook style journals. Um, and rather than make it just a notebook, I made this sort of into an on-the-go sort of art kit. So um, I use this paper from DCWV. Um, it's a paper stack I got at Joann's, and I thought it would be perfect for the recipient because she likes pink. And so um, I covered all of the mat board first using my Xyron and then I cut the die out or cut the die cuts out. So you cut two pieces as I've said before and then you glue them together in the center which is what I did and then what I did was I just strung the two back holes instead of the third front hole that's that's created here and here at the bottom because inside is a different take on this journal die. Uh, this is the cover. I didn't make it too fussy because I didn't want it to be too bulky on the front so that when the recipient opens this, they can work with it flat um, if they want to. So let me show you. I also added these gold corners because the paper has this gold foiled look to it um, and I thought it would match really well. And you can kind of see I created an art kit here. Um, I did put this little rubber band piece here to hold a pen or pencil to take along um, and then the back is just flat so as you open the journal there's one signature here um, of or a call you call them inserts um, of paper um, and this paper is actually created from the same what do you call it the same um, paper stack um, just a different paper and some Bristol um, I think I used Bristol for this um, Bristol paper so this is super thick paper so there's only like 10 sheets in here and I did not staple it in so the sheets do come out so um, if the person who gets this book wants to pull each sheet out individually they can or they can work with it like this and I've included these little bulldog nose clips bull nose I don't know what you call them these little clips so you can clip it like that to keep the journal open flat because I have included some goodies for watercoloring um, there is a little um, goodie pack in here and this has some of the new Jane Davenport um, items in it and um, I think it even comes with a the what she calls the tattoos they're rub-ons um, inside of this bag so I decided that I would make this for somebody so that they can take some artwork or um, doodling on the go and I created the pocket on the side with another Sizzix die and it it actually creates this box here, but the box itself has a flap that folds over. And rather than use the flap, I cut it off the back and then just stuck my stuff down in there. So the box is created using a different die. Um, and then I um, use some of the same paper from the paper stack to cover um, the die cuts. And I use some of my May Arts. I think this is May Arts ribbon also. Um, it's like a vintage, maybe it's not May Arts. It's a vintage pink that is crushed, a velvet. And I use some little um, flowers with bling here um, on the little bow. So that is my little art journal kit um, for somebody. And this will be um, a Christmas gift for a special someone. I hope you like it, and I will see you guys later. Bye for now.